An easy motion tween to create in Flash is a rotation motion tween. So you can see the completed example that we will build. It contains two rectangles, one rotating clockwise, one counterclockwise. It's actually the same rectangle shape stored inside of a Flash symbol, a movie clip symbol. And we will create a motion tween using the property keyframe for rotation and also the free transform tool to turn the uh, rectangle for a rotation. As well, we'll then copy that and then reverse the keyframes. So we will drag this off our stage area off to another window, another computer screen, and we'll open up the starting file. And we'll save that under another name. And I'll just replace the word start here with the word practice. Okay, so let's look what we have. We have an empty stage and we have a timeline that's unused. So let's go over to the library. And in the library we have a symbol, a rectangle symbol, which is a movie clip. And I'm going to open that by double clicking on the icon. And we can see in our viewing area here we have the rectangle uh, that we're going to use in building our rotations. And what I'm going to do next is to make this a separate window. I'll just drag the tab up here and then it will become a separate window. And then I'm going to resize it down a bit. And pull it up here next to the property library area and choose the properties and we're now looking at the inside of a movie clip so the rectangle was drawn in here with the rectangle drawing tool and we can see inside of here the center point or the the middle of the movie clip this cross here indicates this point zero zero and I'm going to select the rectangle and we can see its properties it's positioned at zero zero and we also can see the height and width of this rectangle so we're now editing the rectangle and we don't need to make any changes to it but to return back to the stage we click on scene one and then we'll redock this window and we will learn how to make movie clips later on they can contain shapes uh, multiple layers their own animations and other assets and uh, what I want to do also is to position the stage so it's down near our timeline and we can see the stage and the timeline as we progress. First thing I want to do is rename this layer. So I'll click twice into it and I'm just going to call it rotation clockwise. Now I'm going to select the empty keyframe that we have and I'll go up and select the library and drag the rectangle from the library to the middle left of the stage area. So we can see our timeline is now showing that the keyframe contains objects with the filled dot. And then we'll select this rectangle and right mouse click over it and choose create motion tween. And next we're going to run this motion tween over 60 frames. So we go to the end, the 30th frame, and we have a handle here that we can use and just drag this all the way out to frame 60. So it's the movies running at 30 frames per second and so this is a two second animation. I'm going to right click uh, frame 60 and come up to insert keyframe and we want to choose rotation. We could choose all but if we do then we if we move the object on stage will also end up with a position tween and we don't want that we just want it to rotate so we'll choose rotation in case we do move it and we will because we're going to copy the tween alright next we want to go to our toolbar or you can use the shortcut key Q to select the free transform tool and if you move the mouse around this you'll see there's different kinds of mouse icons we want to go up to the top right corner and we'll get the rotation icon and then we want to drag that down to the bottom left corner. So our property keyframe, you can see with the diamond down here, is indicating change in the rotational positions of our
rectangle. Okay, so now we can play this. And we got one complete rotation for every 60 frames. I'll do test movie. That's a menu choice control test movie. And we can see it running as it would be produced. Okay, so let's close this. I'm going to add another layer, so we come down here to our timeline and I'll use the shortcut icon in the bottom left corner. And I'll double click into this layer name and name it rotation counter clockwise. And I'm going to remove all the extra frames in the blank keyframe span. I'll just go to the end and what you'll have to do here is hold the control key down and you can then drag that. Another way is to select all these frames with a click on one, shift click on the other, right mouse click and choose remove frames. We want to get this down so there's just one blank keyframe on this layer. And then we'll go to the rotation clockwise tween layer and we'll just copy that. Right mouse click and choose copy frames and then click on the rotation counterclockwise blank keyframe and right mouse click and choose paste frames and I'm going to go back to the selection tool, the shortcut key for that is the letter V and I'll just drag this to the right middle of the stage and we can see we got two tweens running basically in the same way and on our rotation counterclockwise tween, we'll right mouse click on the tween and we'll just reverse the keyframes and then we'll, t we'll play this again and you can see now it's reversed or we'll do test control test movie and you can see we have the basic result that we were looking for. So we just need to save this. Okay, that's how you create a rotation motion tween. And we did that from a library symbol. So we created the tween from scratch. What we did is added a property keyframe at the end for rotation. Then we duplicated that tween onto another layer and reversed the keyframes and we ended up with what you see on the screen.